to surf the web using the DX. Now it's not going to be the, you know, the full web. It's going to be textual based. So just words, really no pictures or no uh, animation. Turn it on. Right now it's in sleep mode. Brings you to the home page. Hit menu. It'll pop up. Shopping Kindle store is underlined. We're going to use the toggle to go down. Search, settings, experimental. Push the button in. You see here it says basic web. And that's pretty much what it is. So it's already chosen. So just push the button in. Give it a second. And here's what we have to choose from. Wikipedia, Google, CNN, on down. So let's go to CNN. Let's choose it. It's going to give you all the day's highlights, the main stories. So there's a picture, but again, it's not uh, nothing like you'd get from your computer. The only real problem is let's say we want a story in the entertainment section wild things is king of the box office 32.5 million well if we want to read that we have to well, let's toggle down you can see where it is right now it's up here the only way to do it is just keep clicking down until you get to that story It's really the only negative I have about the Kindle. So you get to it, it's highlighted, as you can see. So hit, push the button in. Give it a second, you can see it's loading. And I can read about the weekend box office. Up top here, if you want to go to Google, it's highlighted. Uh, you can type in movies using the keypad. So I typed in movies. Go to or we're gonna go to Google. So do that. Just toggle over to the right. Actually, you can see here. You go to Google or Wikipedia. So let's go to Google and see what comes up. So we have the results from Google, and it looks you know kind of like you would get from your your desktop or laptop. So it's not going to give you the the full range of the web but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. And that's how you use or surf the web using your Kindle DX.